So I'll start with with XRP, and um, I'll zoom I'll zoom out again just to just uh, to remind you of this uh, expanding horn uh, blow horn, and then I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to zoom in and have a look at this yellow line here. So there's the sorry there's the yellow channel. I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, here's the 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 uh, divergence line here and also then this white center line you'll see price action is moving in it like a, a descending wedge so you can see now it's it's come in it hit the top hit the bottom I think it's going to hit the top again okay and that would give us our double top in the arc hit the top uh, get a rejection and possibly come down and hit the bottom of the white channel again without breaking the this impulse, the bottom of this impulse. So we get a, a touch here, we get a touch here, and then we get the break up for the for the for the bigger lift for Mountain Peak. I think that's the pattern that we're we're potentially playing out. And very similar to here is is we're coming up for this touch. Is it didn't get so far here, so that's why I'm thinking there might be one more one more lift in it, yeah. And then we come down, we come down, and then we get the the, the move up to uh, to Mountain Peak, yeah. So that's 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 what I'm 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 looking at here. Um, I thought I thought the double top would have played out over the weekend, but um, a, li a little bit, a little bit, but didn't didn't complete, yeah. Or I don't think it completed. Um, if I look at it on the fifteen minute arc, um. Again, I think it could go all the way up to uh, 30, 30, 34. Uh, I have a take profit at 33. Um, a touch here is then it heads down, heads down and touches maybe off the, again, the white line here at uh, 20, 29. I, I have a take profit at 30. Keep it nicely in the space. Um, and then And then head up to head up to uh, 36, 36, 56, uh, 37 or so, yeah? And again, when I zoom out here a little bit, is, I'll just do this here. Okay, just a little bit laggy. Oh, there we go. Um, when I zoom out here, again, you can see, you can see within the bigger, yellow channel here is you have this green channel so you can see the the touches from the top resistance 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 a touch to a touch and it breaks through runs along it here back down and touches the green channel here and it looks like it's heading to touch the green channel again so uh, as I was saying, double top up around the 33 or so, back down for, for a drop, uh, first drop heading down to around, uh, uh, again, 30 or so, maybe a little less. You can see this blue support line and white line here. And then, and then like this, the lift, and I think we'll come up and we'll be touching this green line somewhere. Um, that, looks like, that looks like it could be, it could be a play, yeah? I'm going to take this yellow line out as it is because, or am I? No, I'm, no, I'm not. It's a different yellow line than the wedge I was showing you. Um, is, uh, you can see, you can see that this yellow line here is also another uh, support, support on the resistance line. It's another center line in this, in this yellow channel, yeah. Uh, we may we may even go up and touch that, which would take it up to uh, by the time it gets there. Could take it up as far as thirty eight or so, yeah. Um, but I'll be looking at the the green line as as the target, yeah. Um, so so yeah, so that's 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 essentially what I'm looking at is. If I look at the ranges, all these shaded areas here, these are all the different support and resistance ranges within it. So again, back up to this range at 33 or so. 
uh, back down to, to this range at, at 30 or so, and then all the way back up to this range at, at 36, 36.50 or so, yeah? Um, is, is, that's what I think uh, the pattern is, is playing out. Uh, what else could happen? Um, what else could happen that that could change change all that? Yeah, um, is it may not go up to thirty three. This may be it. Um, it's heading down for a dip, and it, it touches here, and then it heads on up. Yeah, um, is it may already be on its way up. It doesn't come down here, and it just heads up to uh, thirty six or so. Uh, and then the the third one is is it's already capitulating and it's heading down and then it's just going to spill and uh, it just drops out of this which is one of the things I did say last week is that you get the the, the drop here you get a, a little lift you know and then it just and then it just does a spill and um, that is still that is still on the cards yeah <clears throat> excuse me I, I do I do believe that uh, just by looking at the way the sideways has been going over the weekend that there there, there will be a lift in it. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the the MAs just to see what they say um, about us potentially. Yeah. So I'm going to look at the weekly because it changed. So now the weekly, you can see the weekly had a bottom here. Here's the top of the moment. Here's another bottom is again as i was saying there's 33.25 i think it may find its way up to 33 or so 33 just about 33 today um and then find itself getting pushed down again yeah uh, before it comes back up and again there's the 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 uh the 10 ma at 38.85 uh, I don't think it'll break above this peak here, but it'll, it'll co come close to it. So the the weekly is 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 could facilitate those moves, uh, but equally that five coming down might just decide to just keep pushing. So that's also very much, very much just looks like a big spill as well. You just can't ignore that, you know. Um, but then let's see what the rest of uh, the days are doing. So this changed on the 30th, it's going to change on the 6th, two more days. <clears throat> Again, that just looks spilly. But it's been holding for the last uh, three, three, four days. Uh, so it hasn't done any further than that last three or four days. So a lot of sideways. There's five. Um, actually, I'll just go back to the week for a sec. The Bollinger on the week is, the bottom of the Bollinger is at 1917. I do believe that's where we're heading. So if I went a little further, I think a lift to 33, a drop to 30, a lift to 36 to 30, 38, and then I think we're, we're coming down, and I think we're coming down for somewhere around 19. I think that's the, the play of it, yeah? Um, so now back on the five day, and five days sideways. It's gonna change again tomorrow. four-day changed uh, today <clears throat> and you can see the the VWAP is uh, again it's red at the moment for resistance we could just as easily flip a little bit of it into support uh, there's a 5MA at 33.25 uh, if I wanted to push its way up uh, the 10 at 34.8 the, the medial line at 30 35.5 I don't think it's going to go that far. I think if it's gone that far, I'd be thinking it's going to go all the way uh, up for for uh, uh, Mountain Peak, uh, somewhere 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 below somewhere below thirty eight fifty nine, because that's skyline on this on this fifty minute arc. So somewhere in this space, yeah. Um, so the three day, so three days a little green at the moment. Two day, the two day turn as well today. Uh, again, is it's red. It's red. Uh, there's the five crossing the ten. Again, that's a pressure down. There's the medial line. 
Um, so again, could the could have come up here and get 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 a touch up here? There's thirty three ten. <clears throat> could have come up and touched the media line before it comes down, maybe to the Bollinger on the two day, which is twenty nine eighty four. Uh, again, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. It's still it's still in that space. It's when we get into the hours. Would the hours give us any indication that there might be a bit more of a lift? Yeah. Uh, again, here's the daily, the the VWAP on the five. Again, borderline. I'd imagine this has been going green and red all day. Um, there's the there's the twenty, the twenty MA on the daily at at thirty three ten, <clears throat> and again that was the last uh, wick wick up to it. So maybe we get another wick up here, yeah, uh, and then we're heading down. Again, there's twenty nine eighty nine, or not? We're just heading down to to twenty nine eighty. We're heading down to the Bollinger on the daily. If we don't get back up to the medial line, or sorry, the twenty first is down down we go, I believe, yeah. Um so the next I think the next couple of hours is uh will be the decider. So there's the medial line on the twelve hour. There's the five on the twelve hour. So now this is this is this is good good with regards to the support for heading up to thirty three. So thirty three here on the twelve hour, thirty three seventy four, there's a fifty and a twenty MA they are at 33.44, but on the 12 hour, the 5 is support, the 10 is support, and the VWAP is, is uh, well, maybe the 10 and VWAP are in mid space, but the 5 is underneath. You can see the 5 is stopping it from going down. So that's, that's a good indication that between now and the rest of this 12 hour, uh, possibly we, we, might, we might get our touch up here, yeah, and then, and then it coming down. So the twelve hour is sort of tipping, 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 tipping it for a little lift. Uh, I won't go through all the hours. I'll go through an e in an odd number nine. Again, nine has a decent bit of support with the five and ten underneath. But again, you can see the twenty EMA the white line and the pink twenty MA. Again, it's really getting sandwiched in between them. So if it is going to head up to uh, thirty three or so, uh, it'll probably be a quick, a quick spike up. Um, same on the eight hour. So let's just go and have a look at the four hour. Okay, so the four hour is going to turn again in five minutes. And um, again, this one has been, uh, you can see up and down, but at the moment it's, it's right in the middle. Uh, and you can see the support. You can see the VWAP is, is a bit of resistance there. But there's quite a lot of support underneath, yeah. Um, and again, there is the Bollinger at the uh, on the four hour. So if you look at this, is it touched the bottom of the Bollinger, went up, touched the top, came down and touched the medial line, and the medial line, the center line of the Bollinger is holding at the moment. So maybe we get a bounce back up to the top of the Bollinger again at again thirty two twenty four. Could it go all the way up to uh, the 55? If it was going to hit 33, it would have to go all the way up to these guys up here, the 50 MA. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it does have a bit of support. Um, again, we've got to see the next one really be green, I believe. Uh, same with the 3R. You can see there's a bit of a rejection wick on this one. Um, a bit of support without going into a lot of detail, but again, you see the resistance with the 50 and 55. It's a bit of a battle going on here. Is basically kind of kind of go up to, to and touch the next level. Kind of kind of come up and meet this and and do a double top between these two. That's the that's the question. Yeah. And again, quite a bit of support here on the on the two hour. <clears throat> you see the five and the the VWAP coming down. So they would need to turn a little bit. And the question is, are we seeing it on the hour? Because if we don't see it on the hour, is we're not going to see it on the others. And that's what I was wondering about after this red, after this red candle here, is is it bounced off the 50, bounced off the, the bottom of the Bollinger on the hour, is we need to see a green one if it's going to go up. So there's a green one at the moment. Here's the five on the hour. The hour is going to turn again in four, three and a half minutes. Uh, 
what we would need to see again is the five take a turn and price action lift up um, and get a lift and start pushing up through up to probably to, to, to 200 probably get a 33 20 is again if we can get that last final uh, blow off top up to the the, the 200 ma uh, that's the question or we're going to get a capitulation of the break to 50 ma and then we'll just start heading down yeah uh, to be honest both look as likely at the moment um, so that's it I'll just do I'll just do one more thing again I'm looking at the the stochastic on the hour is down so this is down so again this can stay down this, just because it's down here doesn't mean it can't keep coming down but it does give an indication also that it's down and it's leaving the space for for, for a lift yeah so there's definitely a, a potential there uh, the 30 minute is down and it's been down for a while the 15 minute is 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 down <clears throat> it's been bouncing along here uh, the 15 minute looks like it wants to go properly to the top again so again that would be a lift up to uh what's that in the 15 minutes the 800 ma this 800 ma will be the, the the blow off top you know um and then the five minute is and the five minutes at the at the, at the top of the moment so that will need to uh, reset itself to the, to the bottom <clears throat> but again, they can they can happen they can happen pretty fast yeah uh, so now just looking at the 15 it's come up one two three there's a there's a red at the moment that's going to finish in a minute and a half and then the question is is again this five here can this five turn can this 10 turn and can we get another lift up or not okay that's what we're waiting that's where well that's what i'm waiting on with my with my trades yeah um so last thing i'm going to say is <coughs> A trip to 33 then a trip to 30 and then a trip to 36.50 uh, I'm still looking at that it's just we had all this sideways over the weekend um, is if it was going to capitulate is a head all the way down is it could turn now and it could just head straight down is that is that is that is a possibility uh, equally it it could do these or not it could come up most likely it's going to come up and complete the mountain peak here uh probably a little retrace here and then a spill so I, I do believe that after this it is more likely to go down than go up um if it were to go up it would come up here it would come down and do a little consolidation and then you see a break up so when we get up around here i'll be i'll be watching very closely uh, very closely the way the MAs are behaving and what's 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 happening there. Yeah. Um, I think most likely it is going to go down, but you, you want to see that before it happens. Yeah, want to confirm that, confirmed essentially. Yeah. So that's that. That's it. That's it. And I, I think I've just told you what I told you last Thursday. <clears throat> um, is still in the same boat. All this sideways. Um, just a little bit of what I said was going to happen has has happened. We've got to see what's going to happen this today, tomorrow, next day. All right, so I'll hand you over to. Can you change the screen? Uh, Hela. Because <coughs> you're more used to. I will, yeah. Um, I will pop out your. There she is, there. And then I'm going to. Um, there we go. I'll stop sharing. This is yours here, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Share it there. Yes, that's mine. I see you sharing it. So, so there we go. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing fine and you've enjoyed the sideways weekend and um, I'm gonna start by saying we might be in for more sideways 
Um, I'm <laughs> I was looking, I, I, I love charting ETH now that I'm no longer trading ETH. It seems ETH, uh, ETH, ETH gave me a clue yesterday about how uh, Bitcoin and XRP were going to, were going to move because it held, it, it, it held its own very nicely and it showed the lift quite, uh, quite nicely yesterday before, um, yesterday in this, uh, in this, in this four hour candle. And, um, it's 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 the only one that keeps doing higher lows. Now, unfortunately, um, I was looking this morning on the daily at ETH. I'll change it. Um, why? How do I? Uh, why is this view only? Uh, you have to. Do I have to refresh? No, I think you have to click 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 on view. Click on view mode. You want to uh, uh, over the right hand corner, copy right hand corner. A copy. Right hand corner. Ah. Uh -huh. <coughs> I don't know. No, it's not that. Okay. No. Anyways, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll explain it here. No, I'll explain it here. I'll explain it here. Thank you. I don't want to lose too much time. Um, on, on this so I'll, I'll show you what I mean I'll show you what I mean quickly because it will influence what's gonna happen this week so um, I was looking at ETH on the daily and um, it's 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 got fewer candles so that's why I wanted to switch to here um, I'll, I'll I'll sort that out for tonight's um, weekly review so we had this this peak formation here like a triple top formation and then we had a sideways channel here that started with a drop we have a drop here as well. Then there is a lift. We had a lift here as well. And then there's a second drop. And we had that second drop as well. Now, you can see before it drops out some more, there was more sideways. There was another lift, another drop, another lift, another drop. Which would make sense because if you if you're looking if you're looking at this sideways channel between the two yellow lines that it's been in it only had again i'll take this one into account one two tops two touches to the top and then i'll take this one one two three three touches to the bottom um here it needed it needed one two and i'll take this into account three and then one two three four drops at the bottom so to me it, it seems that we are uh we um over the weekend so this drop here that was when did this drop happen on friday right yeah 30th of june no when did, when when was 30 was it i don't remember terrible uh friday friday Thursday or Friday. So this 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 is the drop that we've had. Now we we need a lift. This lift is not enough because you can see this lift comes up to the same level. So it would be the mountain peak that Roy was talking about in the 15 minute arc. So here we we would need something to test the uh, the um, I'd say to be conservative about my target the 1150 but it might go up as high as uh, it might go up as high as 1230 so i believe we still might be in sideways today and for most of this week we we might be still in sideways it's still a big move it's still a big move yeah it's still a big move and it's a big it's a, it's a nice lift uh, i think um, i'll i'll, I'll um, calculate it on the other chart um, so yeah, I, I, I think it's, it might be a six, 7% move. Um, but yeah, like I, I believe that we need that mountain peak. So we have a double top here situation, <laughs> double top, triple top with all the sideways. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just say it, it's a, it's a double top and then we need, uh, another lift and then another drop and then maybe another lift and then either a drop here like that and that's the big question that i'll um that i'll discuss with you uh, in today's uh, weekly review 
have we covered our three levels down from the drop or not? Because that's that's the big question. Have, have we done our three levels down and is this the bottom um, or not? So for today, I'm looking at ETH to uh, get above the 1060. So again, t the 1060 is like the central line of this sideways uh, channel that it's been in. And you see how, how it loves to do these, um, these, these uh, channels. And then, um, so 1060 would be the first level, then I have the 1080 as the second level, and then I have the uh, 1154 as the third level. Now, um, I'll show you the MAs in a second as well. There we go. Okay, I need one right here. And I'll show you the MAs on the four hour. There we go. The 11, 11, 13 is the is the 50 on the four hour, and I expect that to be tested um, sometime this week. Again, it, it would be a nice move from where it is now. It would be a uh, six percent move, uh, which would be um, which would be a nice profit uh, if if you're trading. At the moment, we have a nice cross here. A, a, bullish formation on the four hour but we have been in the sideways where this was bearish it came down this is bullish it might come up it needs to break the bollinger on the four hour uh, we do have a nice turn on the five on the four hour crossing over the 10 again ETH is holding its uh, its form quite nicely compared to uh, XRP that was a lot more volatile downwards uh, and Bitcoin um, on the on the one hour we're trying to gain support over the over the the five ma it looks like we have done uh, looks like we have done a wave up like this small one and i think it's uh, it's corrected quite deeply it's corrected uh, deeper than it's corrected deeper than uh, than the 786 and now it's uh, it's retested the golden pocket. If I'm to look at this again um, at, at the start of the London session, uh, Asia put one foot down, London put another foot down. And if I'm to to look at this as as a pattern, again, it's a th this would be a. A, a, a smaller trade to make this would be a W formation and it would be heading upwards now the, the safest level to go to is the 10 uh, is the 10 um, 83 but again if we if we look on the on the four hour I would say with the accumulation that it's had here I'll put it like this for the fun of it. There we go. With the accumulation that it's had here, it might go up and retest the 50 on the four hour, which is 1013. And if you if you add the technical target of this channel, you would get um, you would get around 10 1020 10 1030 as as technical target. So I believe that we might see um, again. Mondays are known for going against the, the 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 trend of the week, so we'll see. Maybe maybe this Monday we'll see a lift. We'll see the fifty retest, and then we'll see uh, sideways and a drop for the rest of the week. That's that's yet to be seen. We need to see, uh, as we are seeing here, for instance, a double bottom structure forming, and then we'll know um, that it might have bottomed out. Uh, Bitcoin is in a um, similar situation it's in a slightly different structure because it's more a uh, it's more of an of a wedge it's made it's made a wedge at the weekend see here it's working perfectly for some reason yeah i'll i'll just reload that um, when we're done So Bitcoin was in a descending descending channel, and it 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 uh, at the weekend it confirmed this this support and resistance line. It it 
confirmed again the midline of the channel so it's moving between these two structures so there is this structure the wedge and then there's this channel that meets right about here and again we might see we might see a lift i anticipate a lift today at a to, to test the top line of the channel maybe around 20,400 and we have we've yet to see what's going to happen when it gets there because this is uh, um, this is a, a, a structure for accumulation. It might break up, um, reach the, the again, it's, it's, I know I sound very optimistic, reach the 22, 23, maybe the 25k. Um, or it might get rejected here. So again, we have two, two situations. From here, going up to here, consolidating, going up to the 22 area, 23, and then going up to here. So that would be situation number one. And then situation number two, going up to here, and then getting rejected and going back down for a double bottom. And actually a full correction of this wave because it's only done a, um, I think, a below the, the 786. Yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't yet reached the 786. It reached uh, the 702. So it might, it might do its 786 or even deeper somewhere Bit, uh, somewhere in between 786 and the one level. So that's the, let me just change for uh, visibility the color of this. So these would be, these would be the, the, the two possibilities that I, that I see this morning. Um, again, I, I see uh, between this level here and the other levels here which and we are on the four hour there is a bullish divergence so momentum is going up even though price price has been staying the same momentum has been going up uh it would be a nice it would be a nice lift it wouldn't be anything major it would be again six six percent but uh so totally within the range of the channel um to, to see it going up and again we have that 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 bottoming out candle structure here as well for bitcoin as we've seen for ethereum so today uh, i find i find a six five six percent lift to be the more likely scenario um for at least um at least the next the next couple of um, four hour candles and then we're gonna see what happens when it meets uh, resistance of course for that lift to be possible we need to step by step gain support on the on the ma's i sound like a broken record when i say that but that that's the the ma's are great dynamic support and resistance lines so when when we gain support over them we know we 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 can we're we're holding the momentum i expected i expected last night's move to be more sustainable to be honest i expected last night's move to sort of like bear the fruits of this consolidation but it wasn't um that that was like i i expected both bitcoin and ethereum and XRP to, to test the 50 on the four hour, but it hasn't happened. It wasn't, it, it failed before it got there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking, again, I'm looking at this, um, I'm, and I'm looking at this four hour structure on Bitcoin as I am for um, Ethereum and XRP as a um, inverse head and shoulders, but we need to see it break through the support and resistance levels to see this bigger structure um, move on in its uh, bullish um, breakout pattern. So that's 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 me for for today. I am gonna watch for um, for for a lift, and if if we fail and and break support, I'll um, I'll keep posting and um, I'll let you guys know. I'll see you tonight for the weekly review. Have a beautiful day.